Happy you could be here. We are joined by Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group of Food and Wine Sommelier of the Year. The group includes where we are, the Sovereign in Georgetown. Also, you have uh, Rustico in Alexandria and Boston. Greg, it is great to see you. See you too, Brian. What is on tap this week? I can smell it from here. Yes, so after a long time of, of kind of hoping and praying and, and pleading, we finally are able to get Cascade beer from Cascade Brewing in the district and in Virginia and in Maryland. Uh, this is a one of those cult breweries that you used to have to go to the Pacific Northwest to get. Which isn't uh, so bad, but... No, no, exactly. Know, Oregon's nice. Um, I peeked at the label. And um, yeah, you have to head to Portland to get. But now it will be showing up uh, at better beer bars and retailers uh, every so often um, via distribution in the area. So really exciting time. Um, right now, the first shipment brought about nine different variants of their sour beers. That's what Cascade is known for. Okay. And I think it's interesting because, you know, sour today is ubiquitous. We talk about sours. This is almost as much about sours as it is about IPAs and probably number three is like Saison's, I'd say. But these guys started in 1998. Uh, Art Lawrence and Ron Gansberg, who are both um, uh, kind of people that have grew up in the, the brewing scene in Portland, Oregon. Uh, one with Portland Brewing Company, Art, and Ron was with Bridgeport. Yeah. And they opened this place as a brew pub, uh, Raccoon Lodge and Brew Pub, Cascade Brewing in 1998. And they were looking for like their signature. In 2002, they started the Sour Program. And that's just crazy. I mean, this is like 15 years ago now. They were making stuff that now everybody wants. But I'll tell you what, back then, uh, they were definitely striking out on their own. So. It's a really cool testament to innovation and creativity, especially when no one's listening at first. The Raccoon Lodge, only in the Pacific Northwest. Right. <laughs> Just delightful smelling. Yeah, they, so very interesting. These beers are not very bready. Mm. They don't have a lot of Britannomyces funk to them. They tend to be clean with great um, flavors of, of acidity from lactobacillus. Uh, but then also from, the, you get a lot of barrel character. This particular beer is called Noyo, and mm. it's a blend of sour blonde ales that have been aged in white wine barrels from the Pacific Northwest, um, and then blended out. Some of these have been in barrels for up to two years, um, and they are blended um, and aged then on raspberries, which gives you the color and that hint of of raspberry character. But the name of the beer comes from the fact that they're also aged on uh, noyau, which is the French term for the um, kernels in the pits of stone fruits. And in this case, it's apricot. So basically oh, they take okay. the pits out of the apricots and, and age it on that. And that seems like kind of a weird thing, right? Like, or a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work, right? But, um, but it's cool because some of um, uh, you know, the, the, these, these noyau, these pits of stone fruit, you see it in cherries and peaches too they have this wonderful almond quality to them. And that's what actually amaretto is made from. It's a kind of a liqueur of, of noyo. So in this beer, it's a cool complexity. It's not just a raspberry sour. There's that white wine character, the tannins, and then there's kind of perfumed almondy characteristic on the palate that's delicious. Well, I'd be a liar if I could reel off even one or two beers to compare this to. Uh, and we've done a lot of sours over the years. Uh, that's unique to, yeah. my, to my memory. My tongue's memory, which it's pretty beat up, but uh, <laughs> I, I really like that. I think the only other brewery that's kind of, well, doing it like these guys on the East Coast is Wicked Weed out of Asheville. And I say that because uh, there's, uh, and, and there's, there, the similarities are in so far as these guys started with a little, you know, brew pub and then expanded to a barrel house that they have in a separate area. So they brew their, their wort over here, these sour blonde ales, and then they put it into barrels. And this barrel house now that Cascade has, has up to, I think it's like 1,400 different barrels. French oak barrels, red wine, white wine, Kentucky bourbon barrels, aging all different kinds of beers, some dark, some light. And then Ron, the, the, the brewmaster, Ron Gansberg, who actually started in the wine industry, he creates the blends, he fruits the different barrels, um, and it's, uh, Really cool. So Wicked Weed does similar things down at their Funkatorium in Asheville. Great name, brewery and the Funkatorium. <laughs> and did you mention what, I'm sorry if you did, which specific type of barrel this yes. is aged in? This one is specifically white wine barrels. Okay. So you get a kind of Chardonnay-ish 
uh, note there. Nothing. I think they wanted to kind of keep it bright, though reddish in hue. Um, a, a red wine barrel, if you thought here, might overwhelm and not bring out that almondy character of the Noyo. I don't seek out a lot of sours, but this one uh, I would buy. It's pretty good. Um, <laughs> what would you pair it with? Uh, you know, it's. I think it, just like what I was saying, it's kind of bright and dark at the same time. So uh, you could, I, the thing I think about, maybe it's just I'm thinking about the Pacific Northwest too much, but I would love this with some salmon. Mm, Wouldn't that be mm -hmm, delicious? Like mm -hmm. uh, the raspberry quality, the acid, you know, whether you smoke it, grill it on a plank, cedar, something like that. Be awesome. But also I can see you doing it with like rich meats, lamb and, and, and steak, duck um, would be um, awesome too. Or maybe even just like a, a thick cheddar cheese burger would be delicious as well. Well, welcome Cascade. Thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another beer of the week.